We've all been there, standing anxiously at the baggage carousel after a long flight, waiting, hoping for the moment your checked bag finally appears on the conveyor belt, and fearing a visit to the missing baggage claim office. Everyone knows somebody with a horror story about delayed, or worse, lost baggage. But the reality is that more than 99% of luggage is reunited with its rightful owner within 48 hours. The lingo in the air transport business is mishandled luggage, and it's not cheap, costing the industry $2.9 billion US every year. Over the years, issues related to bags have always been about 25 to 30 percent of the complaints that we've received. But before we get into what goes wrong, we need to understand the secret life of luggage and what it takes to get to your destination. It all begins at the check-in counter. You set your bag on the conveyor belt, breathe a sigh of relief that you're under the weight limit, a tag is attached to your bag which includes your name, destination, a barcode, and serial number unique to your luggage for tracking. Your bag is then moved to another conveyor belt and vanishes behind the rubber curtain. That's when the epic journey really starts. Welcome to the massive hidden labyrinth known as the baggage handling system. While it differs in each airport for each airline, the general process and goal is the same. It connects hundreds of different conveyor belts and high-speed tracks, kind of like a road network. The conveyors are like local streets, the tracks are like highways, and your bag is the car. The fact is that the technology that is used to handle a bag is really, really advanced. You have conveyors that are going to move the bag around. Then you have things like the early baggage storage. There you may have robotics uh, that are handling four or five thousand bags. Um, you have also these destination coded vehicles that move bags very rapidly from one place to another. The Dubai International Airport has one of the largest baggage handling systems in the world, with 90 kilometers of conveyor lines, handling 15,000 items an hour at a speed of 27 kilometers an hour. It spreads across six stories underground, and its surface can cover 75 football fields. No matter where you are in the world, each and every bag must be scanned by transportation security to make sure there's nothing in there that shouldn't be. Most bags are clear, the green light flashes, and it tumbles along the conveyor belt. However, if the machine is suspicious or unsure about the bag, the light turns red and the bag is diverted to a lower conveyor. A security officer will scan the bag's contents, and if they still can't tell what the item is, the bag is taken off the belt, swabbed, and opened. In the US, the TSA says it takes about two minutes to inspect the bag. Once they're sure there's no threat, it's repacked and a note is left saying the bag was searched. It's put back on the belt and races on to catch up with the rest. Overlooking this entire process is a team of people in the baggage control room. They're able to pinpoint problems along the way, like if a bag gets stuck, a strap gets tangled, or if the bag's wheels simply refuse to align with the conveyor belts. A lot can cause confusion for the bags behind it. The control room also makes sure the barcodes are scanned properly so that all the luggage goes in the right direction to your departing flight. According to airline information technology company CETA, the most critical point in the bag handling process is when luggage is transferred from one plane to another, especially during a short connection. When your flight is delayed, you finally get off the plane and start sprinting through the airport in panic, trying to reach the gate before it closes, your bag is likely going through something very similar. Some airports do have the equivalent of a sprinting bag service, so they'll go and they'll meet the aircraft, uh, they'll put the bag onto a, what they call a runner, uh, and they'll drive it very quickly, put it through some specialized screening normally, and then put it onto the next flight. But most of the time, the baggage systems are fast enough anyway. In 2017, 47% of bags were delayed because of transfer mishandling. Failures to load accounted for 16% of mishandled bags. Ticketing errors, bag switches, security issues, and other problems represented 15% and airport, customs, weather or space weight restrictions accounted for 10%. And sometimes, it's airport staff doing the mishandling, often caught on camera in the act. So what are you entitled to if your bags are delayed or lost in transit? Well, that depends on your airline's specific policy. 
all of which are governed by what's called the Montreal Convention. The International Treaty was created in 1999 to protect air passengers traveling on international flights and sets common rules of compensation between the 120 countries that ratified it. In Canada, the airline is generally liable to pay up to 2,000 Canadian dollars, and that will probably cover your losses. But you'll never truly know what happened to your suitcase when it's lost for good. There's never really any closure. What likely happens is your bag is lying around at a graveyard of sorts, inside the airport, abandoned. The tags have fallen off, and after 90 days, it's officially considered orphaned. At that point, your belongings are usually donated, thrown out, or sold to a third party. Often, they end up here, at the unclaimed baggage center in Scottsboro, Alabama a store famously known for its lost treasures. Did you see a gold necklace that's about... Right. Actually, I, I saw that my I mother. lost at a Newark airport five years ago. I'm right. Some of the most incredible finds include a crocodile head, a unicycle, and a platinum Rolex worth over $60,000. But if you'd prefer your personal belongings not somehow find a sweet home in Alabama, here are some tips you should follow. Avoid putting your Rolex in checked-in luggage or any valuables at all. Try not to book flights with short connection times. Make sure to put your ID on the outside and inside of your bag. In the meantime, airlines are trying to do their part by investing millions of dollars in better technology to track bags, because these paper barcodes aren't always reliable. And who knows if there ever will be a 100% guarantee you get your bag back when you land. For now, the best rule of practice is travel light. Bon voyage. Thanks for watching Global News. If you enjoyed what you saw, like the video. You can also subscribe to get all the latest international news and trending videos.